Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week I thought we'd take a look at the iOS 9 upgrade or update. Now, this is on launch day of iOS 9, and so I thought it'd be good to get a screencast out to you uh, to walk you through the upgrade process so that you understand kind of what's involved and get a good feel for it. Now, I've done this with previous versions and walk you through step by step, so I thought I'd do that today. And so uh, I thought I'd start here first with the compatibility chart for the different devices. As you can see here, uh, iOS 9 is available with a pretty wide range of devices. Uh, this is probably one of the widest range that I've seen in a while. Uh, it'll go all the way back to the iPhone 4S, uh, as well as all the way back to the iPad uh, 2 and the original iPad mini. Uh, you can also get it on your iP iPod Touch 5th generation. So as you can see, it's pretty uh, a pretty wide range, and so a lot of these devices can do the upgrade or update. Now, uh, it's important to understand, though, your mileage may vary in terms of what's available and what works or not. Uh, it's obviously not going to, may not run quite as well on older devices, and so if you do have an older device, uh, you might want to wait and see what other people's experience is with it uh, before you upgrade, uh, but just wanted to point that out. Uh, the other thing is some of the features are only available on some of the devices. So you've heard of the multitasking feature that's built into iOS 9. Uh, that's only a feature on the iPad uh, set of things. It's not available on the iPhones uh, in the way that is on the iPad. So just wanted to kind of let you know that, that some features uh, are only available on certain devices. So I'm going to go ahead and update uh, the an iPad so I can kind of show you some of those things uh, as we look at it. So again, just wanted to kind of show you that compatibility piece. Let me just put this down. So here I am over on my iPad, so I'm going to do the uh, upgrade here. Uh, before we get started, a couple of things. First off, I've done uh, a couple of uh, screencasts to show you how to prepare for iOS 9. And so if you haven't seen those yet, I would recommend taking a look at them uh, because I talk about the importance of having a backup, and I give you several ways to backup your um, iOS device. And so if you haven't looked at those, I would go back and take a look at them. I've got one on how to update uh, your cell phone data, uh, some of that important information, as well as the information that's on your phone, let's say. Uh, I've also got another one on doing the iCloud backup as well as having a wired backup through iTunes so that you've got one on your machine as well. It's always good to be safe, so you can always restore those settings, but I just wanted to let you know that those are a couple of options, and you want to make sure you have those done. So for this screencast, I'm not going to show you that because I've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and do the upgrade. Uh, so you just want to tap Settings here on the home screen or wherever that is for you. You want to go into General, and then you can see here it says Software Update. So you want to tap on Software Update. And what it's going to do is check for the update itself. And so here you can see iOS 9 is there. It's 1.1 gigabytes. Uh, so it is slimmed down a little bit from before. And so to start the process, all we're going to do is tap on Download and Install. So I'm just going to tap on that. Uh, it's going to ask for your passcode, so you have to put that in. So let me do that. It wants to make sure that you want to make this happen. And so then we get the terms and conditions. And so we just want to say that we agree with those, or you can read them if you'd like. I'm just going to tap on Agree and uh, tap on Agree again. And so now it's going to start the process of accessing the update. And you can see here it says Update Requested. And now it's going to Apple servers to start this process. And you can kind of see the wheel turning there uh, in the icon right next to the iOS 9 area. Now, depending on uh, when you do this and how many people are hitting the servers, uh, it could take a while to do the upgrade. Uh, we'll just have to kind of look. You can see I got about two minutes remaining on it, so it's starting to download it. So, uh, again, your mileage may vary on how long it takes on your bandwidth and those sorts of things. So I'm just going to uh, let this go ahead and do its uh, downloading, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished uh, that process. Okay, so here we are on preparing to update. You can see that the line is moving there. And so once it's done getting the update prepared, uh, then it should be ready to do the install. So I just wanted to show you this part of the process. You can see we're towards the end there. And your mileage may vary, like I said, in terms of timing. You can see now we've got the sign coming up that the install is going to uh, happen in five seconds or so. So let me just go ahead and tap install to start this process. You can see now it's verifying the update. So it's going to go through this process of doing that. And at some point here, it's going to switch off, and we'll have to probably go to my camera once it starts to do the reboot. So I'm going to let this run. 
and try to show you uh, all the different pieces that happen during the upgrade process. Okay, here we are in the update process. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, gone to the Apple. It's got the update bar, and we're kind of close to the end here. And so we're going to go ahead and let that run uh, just to get an idea here of what happens after the update finishes. Now, your mileage may vary in terms of how long it takes. Uh, so far, getting to this point, probably taking about, oh, I don't know, about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, to get to this part and this is the first reboot uh, that's happened and so like I said just depends on your device in terms of how long that will take uh, but just wanted to give you an idea in terms of time so that you kinda knew what was happening there so like I said I'm gonna let this bar run we're gonna run it to the end and once it does that we're gonna see what happens when it reboots now many times what will happen is it will run through uh, this uh, status bar with the Apple on the screen a couple of times uh, at least it's done that in past iOS updates so uh, not exactly sure what's gonna happen on this one but we will watch and that way you will know exactly what's gonna happen when you get to the place where you'll be upgrading uh, your iOS device okay here we are on the reboot and so the Apple's come up again uh, so it finished that update process and so now we're going through this reboot side of things and so once it starts to load we'll get an idea for what's on the other side here so we're gonna kinda let it do its thing here and there we go so another status bar uh, kinda like we talked about before this is what we've come to expect with uh, with the updates and so it is mod mirroring uh, what we usually get uh, with those updates uh, from previous versions and so uh, we're going to let this one run through. Not sure exactly how long this particular part of the process will take, but I will come back and let you know what that looks like so you get a good idea for what the wait times would be on this. Like I said, it took us about a, about a 10 to 15 minute on the first pass, and so now we're starting the second pass here uh, on updating this iPad. So I'm going to let that run, and I'll come back when it's uh, just about done. Okay, so the update part happened. Uh, it took about another uh, eight minutes or so. Uh, to do that so if you're looking at uh, time span on how long it might take to do that part of the uh, update you're looking at about a 15 minute or so and then another eight so you're probably somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes uh, to do that part of the update uh, you can see here that it's uh, starting uh, my iPad here and now here we are back at the start screen ready to go let me just push the home button there again and so here we are on the hello screen so I'm just gonna slide to the left here or I'm going to slide the other way, slide to the right, and I'm going to put in my passcode. And so now it's saying update complete, uh, tap continue. You're almost there and you're done. I'm going to tap continue. It's going to ask again about location services. I'm going to just go ahead and enable those services. Uh, it wants me to finish setting up my iCloud password again. So let me put that in and I'll come back as soon as I've typed that in. Okay, once I have that in there, I just hit, uh, I'm going to hit return here. And now it's going to put in that information for me. And so now it's asking me to verify my identity because I've got two-factor authentication set up on my devices. And so it's going to ask me what I want to use uh, to get that uh, verification code. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave it where it's at. I'm going to tap Send. And then I need to put in that code. Okay, once I put that code in there, I'm verifying my identity. And so now it's going to go ahead and update my iCloud settings to make sure everything's good there. And so as you can see, it's just kind of walking us through this process. Uh, now it asked me about iCloud uh, Keychain. Uh, to set that up, I've got to approve it from one of my other uh, security devices. And so uh, what I'm going to do is just say um, I'll approve with the other device. And so an approval's been sent. So I'll let that go through and uh, approve that and so now we got diagnostics and setup uh, it's either send it to Apple or not uh, so it's up to you on what you want to do uh, let's go ahead and send it that's fine uh, and now they've got app analytics right to help app developers uh, make their apps better they're sending an uh, analytics to the app uh, makers and so it's up to you whether you want to share that or not uh, I'm just gonna say no for right now and then it's welcome to iPad and so we just tap get started and now here we are in the iOS 9 uh, interface. Now it's left my wallpaper and all that stuff alone. Looks pretty much the same. 
And so we're going to go through the process of taking a look at this. I'm going to switch over to my screen sharing software. Okay, so here we are back in my uh, screen recording software, and this is the new desktop. And like I said, it doesn't, uh, at least in this case, didn't really change my background wallpaper. So if you're looking for something different there uh, and you're wondering, did the update happen? That's not the way to do it. Uh, check it out. Uh, one of the things that's telling right away is the new news application uh, is sitting right there. If I just tap on news, uh, you'll see it will launch the new Apple News application for the first time. And so you can walk through the process uh, of setting that up. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to show, uh, show that in another screencast. But let me just tap the home button back here just so you can see how that works. Uh, to make that happen. Now one of the beauties of it is uh, again you can check there that's one of the ways that it will tell you. You can also just tap into settings again if you go back into uh, about up here uh, you can see that it says iOS 9 there on the version uh, area. Uh, if I tap general and come back and just go to software update it will also tell you uh, what your update is. You can see I got 9.0 installed so uh, I just want to show you that uh, now, one of the interesting things about uh, the new update with these iPads, uh, if on some of them, if you just kind of pull from the left here, notice that as I'm pulling, I've all of a sudden now got the multitasking bar where I can kind of go through here and choose the application I want to launch. If I just tap on the news app, I'll get that news app now on the side here. And so now I can view it uh, from the side and have it done that way and just push it out of the way if I don't want it. So uh, again, it does have a, a, a few nice little tweaks to it, and I'll cover some of those in more detail in the future. Okay, that's all for this week. Hopefully that helps you understand how to get the uh, iOS 9 upgrade done. And so uh, again, pretty simple process, walked you through the different pieces so you kind of get an idea how long it takes. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.